Welcome to the RGA Jackets Report. I am Scrivian. It is the week ending 7 December, and we are back and finally back in the game. I returned last week from vacation, Thanksgiving. I had to go out there. My daughter's second year birthday. Happy birthday, uh, Allie Bear. <clears throat> so, what do we do? What happened this week? Well, they got back, and I had this awesome thing. I was like, wow, we must have, we must have gotten a ton of new players into the game, because there was a queue. And then there was a queue, and there was a queue, and most of the guild was not able to get into the game. I think we had, at one point, I think, um, let's see, with the post I saw on Sunday was Omega Man. That was, Merc was the last one standing, last member. I think on the server, he was the last one there, and then before he got kicked out, and then the server crashed. And they went down, there were all kinds of issues, and time went down, and blah, blah, blah. And then there were queues, and then Taiyang was the only one up, or with uh, Sulfira, I think. And so Monday we played, uh, we rallied the guild. We got everyone together. We said, let's do a guild event, and we attacked the Q monster. And the Q monster basically, it took time, and eventually we defeated him on an individual basis, whether it was two, four, six, eight, or I think some of the people had 14, 16 hours. They had to wait to get in Q, something like that. I know. Uh, highest I heard was a thousand something in Q. Uh, Try on basically throttling everything back and not letting that many people in so they could check the server stability and see what's going on. And yeah, so that kind of just jacked up the entire weekend last weekend after Thanksgiving, and, and I missed most of it. But I was back for the last few days, and it kind of sucked, and people were pissed, and I think some more people left. Not, not from our guild. Actually, our guild's still doing great and strong. Uh, there were some bans that happened that were, you know, because there was so much lag and latency that their auto-hack and whatever other programs they're using to pick up people uh, was just banning people who you know, couldn't help it. They were in Australia or in other areas where they were having high latency, and uh, I think they're, the people, or a couple people at least, are, are under ban. We still have one case outstanding. So that was Monday. Tuesday, finally, they got everything. They took everything down slow, 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 slow. Boom, we're back in the game. Everything's going on. Uh, less lag, less latency for most people. Some people still experiencing it. And we're wondering what the hell is Tryon going to do to cover, you know, to make up from this. Uh, now we know. You know what? Games have downtimes, and, th and bad things happen. This wasn't a DDoS or anything. We don't know what. Tryon hasn't said what it is. Uh, but something happened. The servers went down. We didn't get to play the game that we wanted to play. And yet people were upset, and, and the forums were all in a tizzy fit and, and whatever. So, And so, whatever. We got back in the game, and we did a lot of stuff this week. So let's get on, and let's talk about actually what we did in Arc Age as Critical Moment. Uh, let's see. We sunk a black pearl. Mercs, thank you very much. Uh, I think we, we hooked up, or we, we were uh, heading north doing some counter-piracy PvP. Uh, counter-piracy counter-west, I should say. Our Haranian support naval activity. Haranian naval activity. Whatever. Heading up, uh, doing all that good fun stuff. Going up the coast, going by Yenistir. Uh, Dingo picks up. There's a galleon being chased. Uh, 52,000 health. We say, what? Well, lo and behold, it turns out that... Uh, uh, God, I'm going to mess the name up. Keneal, Congealed, Congealed, so whatever. Congealed something guild. Camille Lemiel. I don't know. Uh, good guys, as far as I know. Uh, are chasing down Merc's Black Pearl. Merc's has a couple people on it. I did read, and I have to give Merc's credit, and they posted in the forums that they, as a guild, made an agreement. They got together, they got their Black Pearl, and they said they will never or will not desummon it out of battle. If they lose it, they lose it. That's the cost of doing it. They're not going to be cowards, which I have to applaud them because they were greatly outnumbered. Uh, the Congealed Guild, whatever, uh, got on board, and they were fighting them. Uh, we were able to get on board, lend support. I got on board. I was doing some healing. We were hitting them with our cannons. Uh, Kyoko pulled out his galleon, and I think the, the other guild pulled out their galleon, and basically we destroyed the Black Pearl. Uh, news on the website, check the front page. Uh, photos by me, so have, I mean, enjoy the story. It was good. It was good. It was a fun thing. It was great. It was a great night. We went up to Friedrich Island. There are a couple reds there. We cleared it out. I, I mean, I don't know how we did it, but we, as uh, 13 members, were able to fight off the, the few reds who were there because it wasn't really overrun. I mean, there really wasn't that many. It was a few. Um, and so, uh, yeah, we went up there and I, I mean, I don't know how we were able to hold the island either against the massive, oh wait, there was no red onslaught, but, but still we were able to do all this without Sinister's help. I, I don't know how, I mean, they look for us, they look to help everyone out and you know, they're, they're off for everyone else's interest, bunch of douchebags, whatever. So yeah, we did that, went to Friedrich and had some fun there a little bit, saw nothing was going on. We said, Hey, let's go. Let's go after some bosses. We headed back south. I might be getting my nights mixed up. We did all this stuff, though. Went on the naval, went over the western fishing. There's nothing there. Headed down south and said, yeah, screw it. Um, do some last-minute PvP, kind of wrapping stuff up. Went through Hasla, 15 of us. Kind of went through Hasla, and I don't know. We were able to go through there and clear it pretty easy. Again, no sinister help, and we were still able to basically push the reds out. And I think 
Uh, we finally got to the point where we were out, we were outnumbered at least two to three to one, and we were holding our own. Good good maneuvering and tactics by uh, Demos and everyone else uh, who held held us fall, fall up onto the hill, and we basically used the height to our advantage and, and, and forced them through choke points, and were able to do a good job, a great job marking and concentrating fire and doing all the fun stuff. And so there's a lot of good PvP. There's other stuff that happened different nights and this and that. We went to, we've been to Hasla a few times. We've been to Freedis a few times. Uh, we ran over to the other continent to do some stuff. Uh, so what did we do on PvE night? PvE night, we said, hey, you know, we, we had a great PvP night. Let's go have some PvE. Let's go take some world bosses and stuff. We're going to go on and take the Huda's champion, Nazar, and we're going to go up and take on Glenn and whatever Glenn's girlfriend or boyfriend is, whatever, up in Aurora, and we'll go take out Jolo over on in Exalock and and hey maybe we'll head down and catch some bosses we'll catch the the care of the gatekeeper and then we're going to go over to Cinderstone and then we're going to go for Daruda and then we're going to go into uh, um not Gwynedd whatever the hell I don't know level 15 uh western area and then we'll take out the tree boss thing we'll catch him and Herod we went there and fought him with 10 10 10 10 tried to catch him we basically lived through multiple enrages and people died and people you know, was yelling and screaming and and blood and we, we still were able to get him down and we got him out and that was done and uh, we, we continued on and we went over and we said hey we couldn't get him check flame Lord was there I uh, ran up to Aurora I went to Nazar to Nazar for I went to Unistir. nothing going on headed up uh, went north that's where the black pearl thing took off uh, now that I remember headed up to Nazar. It was awesome. We were all set to go. We are like, all right, everybody buffed. Everybody got their water breathing. We're sitting there going, whoo, 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 whoo. that's it. Yeah, we got it. We're all pumped up. We're ready to go. Nazar turned and went and basically farted in our gentle direction and basically destroyed the entire raid. All right, I might have sped it up a little bit. That happened within the first five seconds. First, he smashed Kyoko, and then he turned to us, sucked us all in, and went... It squished us like little little arcade bugs, and so that was all gone. And so that was a blast. It was fun. So we, we tried one more time, and there was no no yeah. We need a lot more people probably. I think somebody said they found a video of it happening on Korea or Russian servers, and it was taking at least a full fifty raid, and maybe multiple more after that to help protect them. Okay, fun lessons learned. We had a blast. We said all right, let's go up to Aurora. Let's go try out these other guys. Yep, Glenn, Glenn, yeah, Glenn. I think he hit Kyoko. Our best geared. Awesome tank, great experience, 19k health, and so um, yeah, he smashed him for 35k, and that was it. He was he was gone. He was dead. And they turned and, and got anyone who healed him. I healed him. I died. Uh, other people died. So uh, those bought. All right. So what do we need? We need more people, which is good. Um, and I'm gonna talk about why it's good after a second. Now this is throwback. I'm gonna do a throwback commercial here because this week, um, and I'm gonna continue. I gotta continue this thought. But I'm gonna throw back commercial this time. This one is thrown out to Demos. Demosthenes, uh, for those of you who don't know, he's one of our PV, he's our PVP lieutenant uh, under our MIA Pi. Actually, Pi's been very busy. It's a very busy season for him at work. Uh, this is a throwback commercial for Demos. Um, also, uh, in honor of the Star Wars The Old Republic, for anyone who dabbles in that game still, uh, is launching their 3.0 expansion this week, the Legacy of Revan, or something about Revan. I think it's Legacy of Revan. Launches this week, so here's a throwback commercial to Star Wars. Too much cash got you down? You've been all over the galaxy looking for the right purchase and no stem can cheer you up. Try a cool, refreshing Treat Cola. Mixed from the Maca Newbie Berry, found in the remote reaches of indoor forest, Treat Cola cheers you up and helps you through the grind. Chat up Treat with your friends. Talk about the benefits of being able to take anything down with Treat. Treat can meet all your needs. It's a refreshing taste that you will not get out of your mouth anytime soon. Again, it is brewed from the Maca Newbie Berry... It's a cool, refreshing solution to your Star Wars blues. With an expensive price, Treek makes you forget about all your other companions, because who needs them when you have Treek? Try Treek Cola and get your Endorian drink on. And we're back. Okay, let's continue on things we're going to do. We are going to actually, we are forming an alliance, and we're going to have Tactical Terror join with us. And when we're doing operations, we're going to get them in PvE, we're going to get them in PvP. We're kind of going to merge and mesh and kind of, not merge, I didn't mean merge. We're kind of going to work together and see how we kind of feel the waters. And, and you know, we're going to all get together in the hot tub and make sure no one's passing gas or any of that other stuff. And we're kind of say, hey, how do, we, how do we gel? How do things go together? This is how we PvP come out to sea on our ships. We'll go on your ships. Uh, let's go kill some reds. Let's go kill some uh, people who are like attacking greens counter piracy stuff and we'll see how it all works and we're going to invite them in we are, we have a full on alliance with tactical terror now and that's kind of what we're going to do just let you know which is good because okay back to what we did this week so we went on we, you know, we went down to cinderstone we said hey let's go check for deruda deruda wasn't there there weren't any reds there we went over to uh, whatever the hell that area is there i don't have my map up but yeah you know, whatever 
went over there looking for the tree boss legacy mythic dude and he wasn't there either and that was kind of the end of hunting bosses uh we tried to catch Herod. the net didn't work uh went over everyone else and so that was kind of it pve was that uh pvp going back to that we did go up to pirate island and i guess low bob is a troll on the server douche whatever i don't know him but i know causes a lot of hate and discontent probably playing that way he's probably a librarian's aide nothing wrong with librarian's aides um but he's probably a librarian aide introvert and i'm an introvert so that's i mean yeah i'm not trying to insult anyone here uh who basically you know is yeah whatever he's a troll in the game um so we went up to pirate island and uh, yeah we destroyed his car uh, i don't know why he would have had his car out in pvp but you know maybe making a statement blah 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 whatever destroyed his car killed him killed a bunch of pirates a lot of times uh, using tactics, again, using line of sight was awesome. Worked together as a group, held our own, held our own, held our own, of course, until we get greatly outnumbered and there's just nothing you can do. But then, you know, I have to say I'm proud of Critical Moment, you guys. We all got out there and we were doing these fights. We were doing these great things and we're, we're getting involved and in, in forcing PvP and doing those things. And, man, you know, whether we win or lose, you know, and most of the time, like I said, if it's us against uh, equal numbers, we're going to destroy them. If it's us against, you know, even one and a half, sometimes even two, uh, we're going to have a great fight. We're going to push him back. We may go to stalemate. Anything greater than that. The, th the thing is, we don't really back down until it just becomes absolutely not a single chance in hell that we're possibly ever going to win. And it just becomes us against the Zerg. Then it's like, eh, we're out of here. It's not fun. Uh, we like the fight. We like the PvP. We like the PvE. We like to do all this other great stuff. And so that's what we've been doing. Now, there are still a lot of GHA runs going on uh, and gearing up for one of, our, one of our big highlights of the one of our accomplishments of the week. We went into Serpentis. And we downed the first boss. That's right. The, gate, the uh, Serpentis Gatekeepers, I think is what they are, uh, killed them. It was awesome. We got this, the, you know, some awesome loot. It was pet armor. That's what we got. So somebody needs to level their battle pet up to 50 so they can wear this arcane armor. Yay. Yeah, we want the weapons. We want the gear. We want the armor. So you're going to keep going in there. We're going to start doing it this week. going to make more of a push in there. Get into GHA, please. Get into GHA. If you want to get into GHA, you need to get into GHA. You need to get your full set. Once you get your full set, you still need to go into GHA to get other people their full set and also upgrade your set. If you don't feel like ever going back into GHA, once you have your seven-piece, then I'm sorry to tell you, you're going to need to kind of upgrade that set because it is one of the best sets you, ha you have in the game right now unless you get it crafted. I'm working on getting mine crafted. Uh, thank you, Yaz, for getting me that chest piece. We're currently getting ready to set up for a magnificent graph, so hopefully it'll go magnificent ocean so I can get up to Ethereum, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, but if you're not a healer and you're going for crafted or you want uh, other stuff, you want to get that GHA, get the GHA. Um, a thing, a little note on on heroic bonuses and arcane bonuses and blah, blah, blah. I guess it looks like arcane bonus. The arcane bonus for having four pieces of arcane is the default set. So even if you get four pieces of heroic and you have three pieces of arcane, it actually defaults you down. It's a bug. It has to be a bug. It defaults you down to the arcane bo uh, bonus because if you take those three pieces of arcane off and you're only wearing four pieces of heroic, you actually get the heroic buff. Go figure. So get it up to heroic. Um, so again, if you don't want to go back into GHA, if you're a DPS, and you know we've got a lot of DPS, so we can kind of justify that. But if you're you're a tank and a healer, you need to get into GHA. Got to support the guild. Let's get these runs going. Get people geared up so we can get more people into Serpentis. We had about I think probably 15 to 17 people, and I hate leaving people out. I don't want anyone left behind. I want everybody to get into Serpentis this week. Uh, please get. I mean, you are going to need. You got to get your Hazla tier one. This is a minimum we're setting. You know we may not be able to kill all the bosses with this, but we know we can kill the first boss with this. You need to have seven piece GHA. Unless you're a healer, then you can have Magnificent GHA mixed, all right? If you're not going for GHA and you want crafted, you need to have a crafted set equal to or greater than Magnificent, all right? And then for the weapons, we really need you to have your tier, your, uh, your Hasla weapon for your primary weapon. Uh, tanks, I think we're set on tanks. Healers, are, or most of the healers, I think, have their clubs now. Um, and again, if you're going for uh, shield and club, uh, one-hander for crafted. Magnificent, please. Now, we don't want to leave anyone behind. We're going to continue running GHA. Uh, Kyoko and I talked this week, and he's going to he's going to help ensure that we're pushing people into GHA. Please take the time. It takes less than an hour to run GHA now, uh, as long as you've got a good tank and healer and, and, and a good grip. Man, most, of, most of our players are good players, so we should be able to get into GHA, get geared, uh, do PvP if that's what you want to do, and pick up honor gear. Pick up whatever you got to do. Get to that magnificent level so we can get into Serpentis. Actually, we're going to need more than that, though, to actually beat Serpentis. So um, it's kind of a give and take. Most of the loot gear, uh, the armor drops and weapon drops, etc., come off the 5th and 6th boss in Serpentis. So it's kind of a catch-22. If you're not geared, you're not going to beat them. If you are geared, 
Um, well, you will beat them. I guess it's not really a catch-22. It's kind of, that's just the way it is. So, again, we had a great week this week. Uh, we had talks and talks with Tactical Terror. They're going to be joining us. We had lots of fun going on. we got more stuff that will be planned this week. Um, it's going to be another great week. Uh, again, like I said, Star Wars is uh, launching the 3.0. If you need to take a little bit of break, there's that. There, and it's all story-quested, uh, voiceovers, blah, blah. Uh, World of Warcraft has added in their, you know, their little thing. They're doing their Warlords of Draenor. People like it. Garrison's Rift is on their, their 3.0 expansion. And Arcade is plugging it wrong. We're just waiting. We're getting the PTS coming soon to the game. So check that out if you want to. It'll have its own pool of credits. So it's not going to take your money. not going to take your labor. Blah, blah, blah. It'll be fun to test stuff out. And then later this month, we should be getting the Red Dragon and other stuff. We need 50 players to do that. So continue to get out there. Meet great people. Make friends. Blah, blah, blah. Invite them into the guild. Let's have some fun. Everyone have a great week. And I will see you in-game probably, uh, hopefully in the next half hour, as this video is finished rendering. Bye. Miss ain't not gay. Miss uh, Russian uh, Hey Heyo. Uh-huh. Original root boy killer. Miss Ian Shaggy. DJ Shaggy. Jump blind. Come on. And we're more red. Road swag. It's the war. Miss Russian Hulk moving alongside Jump Black with a brand new combination. Yeah. Big up Providence and San Andreas yeah. Land. Yeah. What me say? Listen up. Yeah. Mano arriba salta Rápido, nítido, eso me dicen al charlar Hablé con mi rol